Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. Today's razor review is the new Shave Nation SN3D Safety Razor. It's a very nice looking razor. The reason it's called the 3D is because it has this black 3D checkered knurling on the handle, which is very easy to grip. So you have the black checkered knurling, and then you have a chrome collar, and then a chrome collar at the bottom. The one at the top is smooth, and then the one at the bottom is checkered for easier grip. And it's a three-piece razor. Disassemble, like so. Top cap, safety bar. Let's pop in a blade. We'll use a feather blade today, right here. Remove that from the paper. Just drop it right over the post and the two pins like so. Reassemble. Make sure that the grooves or the striations are facing upward toward the blade. And then reassemble the handle clockwise. Lock that down. Let's check the reveal. Oh, that's perfect. Looks excellent. Perfectly even on both sides. So it's a nice looking razor. I have not shaved with it yet. And this is actually the prototype or the example. Click right below the video where it says show more. And all the items used in this video will be available there. And this might be a pre-order or we might even have it where it's already on sale. So I will perform a shave with this today. I'll use the SN 3D Black Razor. I'll use Parazzo Alo and Vitamin E Shaving Cream. Lather that up in the Shave Nation Ceramic Shaving Bowl with the lather spot down at the bottom, right down there. Logo on the side, logo on the bottom. Comes in seven different colors. Black, red, blue, white, pink, yellow, green. And, as I said, a feather blade. The brush I'll use, the Simpsons Chubby One. Just so you see, here's the Chubby One. Here's the Chubby Two. You can see the difference in size. Chubby Three would be over here, and it'll be even bigger. A lather monster. It will soak up lather, that number three for sure. I'd say number two is the most popular, and one, and then three. So, I will use the number one today, and we'll finish up with the Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, and then we'll stay on point with the Parasso Illu and Vitamin E Aftershave Balm. All right, so let's mix up a lather. Got my trusty marble cup. I'm gonna fill this with hot water. We'll drop the chubby one into it. Here's what it looks like when it's dry. Just drop that right in. Now it's saturated. You can see it holds together. It's a nice, tight, dense knot. And those hairs, they just stay together. They don't separate like a synthetic brush. Let that soak for a minute. Now we'll soak the Shave Nation bowl under the hot water as well. It's ceramic, so it will retain some heat. The specs on this razor, it weighs in at 2.8 ounces or 80 grams. And the length overall from top to bottom is four inches or 102 millimeters. So it's a nice hefty razor. It's long enough where you can drop it in your palm and spin, which I like in a razor. So it's a nice comfortable grip. Feels good in the hand. Let's squirt some of this Parasso right down into the bottom here. Just fill up that little lather spot right there like so. Now we'll take our brush, remove it from the cup, give it a couple shakes to remove the bulk of the water out of it, pour that water out. Now we'll go right into our bowl and see if we can mix some lather. I was a little heavy on the water so it's a bit sudsy but as I push down into that lather spot, you can see that the cream is generating and moving up to the sides of the bowl. I mean, look at that. It's all filled already. It smells good. Didn't take very long at all. Did I say it? I don't even know if I said it. Let's see if we can mix a lather. Well, we mixed the lather. Check it out. No problem whatsoever. Look at that, it's like all over the place. So we have tons of lather. The reason for the pink tips on my Chubby One Badger brush, well, something I've been wanting to do for Halloween, and today is Halloween. 
So I'm just going to put a couple drops of red food coloring in this shaving cream and see what happens. See if we can make it actually turn red. Check it. What does that look like? This is a Halloween shave for sure. Let's see what happens. We'll just go in there. Oh yeah. Nice. I did not know if this would work or not. And I'm curious if this will stain my face. <laughs> we shall see. Look at that shaving cream. Whoa, look at that. That's awesome. I guess I should be wearing a mask, but then I wouldn't be able to shave, would I? Actually, this is my mask. All right, here we go. I'm going to shave with that. Let me warm up my face and we'll apply this and see if it stains my face. Ooh, my face is good and red and so is the shaving cream. So I don't know what's red or my face or the cream. Let's apply this. It still smells the same. Check it out. Plenty of lather. All right, here we go. Start on the right, work over to the left. I can see a little bit of white underneath it. There we go. Could probably use more food coloring to make it a bit redder, but this is fine. Little figure eight, smooth it out. Let's clear the runways so we can see the sideburns. Here we go, the Shave Nation SN3D Black Safety Razor. Loaded with a feather blade. Okay, we will find our angle. You know what it is, check out my previous video where it's all about proper razor angle. Find that spot where the top cap, the blade, and the safety bar come together. Start up, oh, let's warm it up. Temper it under the hot water. Okay, we'll start perpendicular and tilt slightly up till we get that angle and just work your way down. Ah, very nice. First time using this razor, as I said. No problem removing my couple days worth of beard growth here. One side filled, let's go to the other side and work our way down the neck. Excellent. Very nice. Okay, we're filled up with shaving cream. Let's rinse. I don't think it's staining my face. Okay, left side, same way. Perpendicular, tilt slightly up. Find that spot. You feel it. When you get the right angle, you'll feel it. And you'll hear it. Got some good audible feedback. Let's flip that. Right down the neck. Very nice. All right, both sides filled up again. We'll rinse that. Now the mustache, just scoop right under the nose. clean up here. Okay, first pass complete. You can feel around if you're smooth enough. You can stop. You're done. I will perform another pass just so I'll show you. We'll go across the grain. We'll pick up our wondrous red shaving cream. Crimson, taupe, mauve, pink, whatever this is. All right, here we go. Look at that. It's like a little ice cream cone there. Now it goes on cooler. There's no beardage, very little beardage left to remove. Little figure eight. It's actually more pink than red now. 
There the runways again. First pass was with the grain, north to south. Now we'll, I'll go against the grain on my neck. I'll start at the bottom. Very nice. Now across the grain from the ear to the nose. Very smooth shaving. Feels like there's no way you're going to nick yourself. Now backhand. Excellent. Okay, let's rinse that. It looks pretty cool going down the sink, all the redness. Okay, now under the mustache, with the corner right under the nose. Clean that area and then lay it flat. Very good. All right, let's rinse that. So after the second pass, I could stop right here, but I'm going to rinse off, do, I'll apply some more shaving cream, I'll do one more, just so I can show you how to go against the grain with this razor. Just leave the face damp and let's load up again. Tons of shaving cream here. Clear the runways again, last time. So you can stop anywhere along the way. After the first pass, if you're smooth enough, after the second pass, you feel you're smooth enough, you're good. But we'll do one more. I'll go against the grain all the way up. This will give you that glassy, smooth, baby, smooth finish that you want. You can really whip this razor around. It's very smooth. And with the feather blade, perfect. Great combination. Keep your same angle. This is where you start at the cap and just tilt it slightly up, just till it skims a bit. Right there. Very slick with the Parasso shaving cream. This is perfect right here. Beautiful. Let's go up the other side, same way. Just ride that cap and then tilt slightly up and skim. Right there. Very good. Let's rinse that off. Now against the grain on the chin. It's a little, a little slippery from the soap. So I'm just gonna take my Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, run it under cold water. Just rub my fingers on that. Right here. And that will help me grip my skin real easy and pull down on it because you want to stretch and keep your skin as flat as possible. Flat blade, flat skin, perfect shave. Clean out the cleft. Very good. Same thing on the mustache. Just skim up. Stop before you get to the nose. Beautiful, super smooth. I guess the one plus about red shaving cream, if you cut yourself, <laughs> you, won't, you won't see the aftermath. There you go, look at that, beautiful, nice and smooth. Let me rinse. A hot then cold water rinse. I will take that wide stick Allen block again under the cold water. Just glide that all around the areas you shaved. This will tighten your skin, close your pores. Excellent finish to the shave. If you got any small nicks or anything, this would seal them up right away. Just a fantastic shave. 
Let that soak in for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry. Check it out, I have pretty heavy beard growth, two or three days worth of beard growth. It removed it with no problem whatsoever. The Shave Nation, the SN 3D Black Safety Razor, actually very comfortable, close shaving. As far as aggressiveness, I'd put this a little bit up above the DE89, 34C, uh, 99R, what else? R89, just a step above, a little bit more aggressive. So if you wanna kick it up a notch, this will get you there nice and easy. As you can see, very smooth, easy to shave with, comfortable, feels great in the hand. That 3D, very easy to grip, even with wet fingers, no problem. And the feather blade loaded into this razor provided a really nice, smooth, comfortable shave. The Parasso Alo and Vitamin E Shaving Cream covered very well. Nice lubricating feature. The blade glides easily over it. And the Shave Nation Shaving Bowl Ceramic with the Scary Red Shaving Cream inside. Uh, no problem mixing a lather, as you can see. Look at, I still have, oh my goodness, still have tons of lather there. So I guess anybody else here wants to shave, they can go at it right now. All right, so no problem with that. And then the finishing up with the Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block. Excellent finish to the shave. Oh, let's do our Parasso Alo and Vitamin E. Shake that up. This is the blue carton a bit in the fingertips. It's getting cold here in Chicago, so this is what you want for the winter time. A nice protective balm. Provides an invisible layer of protection throughout the day. Very cool, nice finish to the shave. I think my fingers got a little bit stained from the red shaving cream. My face, I don't think it did. That's about it. If you want to pick up any of these items, just click below the video where it says show more. You can grab them right there. Or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Please do me a favor before I head out, click that subscribe button down there, click the bell up there, then click all. So all my upcoming videos will go right to your inbox and you won't miss any. I greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.